Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. These are general readings guys, so just take what you need, leave the rest. If this reading should uh, speak to you, um, if it sounds familiar and it resonates, by all means feel free to leave behind a like, share and subscribe here today. Uh, these are for entertainment purposes only, okay Scorpio, so if you're requiring something a little more specific to your current situation, then by all means feel free to reach out and we can go ahead and book a personal reading with me. Um, all the details on how to work with me uh, will be in the show more section below and if it's not with me, please uh, just, you know, find someone who you do resonate with. Um, also guys, if you would like to get to know me, I am on other platforms. It'd be lovely to have you follow me on those platforms. So all the details will be in the show more section as well. Uh, these six cards here, Scorpio, will form the main part of the read. Stick around to the very end because we will draw an animal spirit card um, regarding your specific person. Okay, we're just going to see what other energies are coming through for them and what it is that you need to know regarding this person. This is for you Scorpios out there who are coming in and you have questions uh, surrounding your special person. Okay, you maybe you want to know what's going on with them. Maybe you want to know what's happening, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, you know, what's going to happen this week, um, what's happening in this situation, whatever it is. Okay, um, this reading is intended for you. The six cards that are coming through, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Judgment, the Temperance, the Ace of Swords, the Hermit, and the Seven of Pentacles. With the Knight of Pentacles here, you could be dealing with a strong uh, Earth sign, which would be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, with the Hermit here, you could be dealing with a strong Virgo. Um, and with the Temperance here, I believe that's uh, Sagittarian energy, okay? Now, if I didn't mention the sign of the person that you're dealing with, that's okay too. For some of you, that's just confirmation, alrighty? Okay, so what's happening here, Virgo? Ah, uh, Virgo. What's happening here, Scorpio? I do feel that you're, you're seeking some kind of clarity. Okay. You're seeking some kind of clarity. You've got the Hermit card here. And you just want to be left alone, okay? You just want to be left alone. You just want to be by yourself. You may, you may even be going through some kind of spiritual awakening right now. Even with the Ace of Swords here, I'm seeing some kind of an awakening or an aha moment or enlightenment coming through for you. I do feel like you are shifting Okay, you're going through some kind of up level or up leveling process. And I'm even seeing it in the judgment card here. We see a woman and we see like, you know, her spirit coming through this woman. This is your higher self. I see uh, an awakening here. I'm seeing an up level happening here for you, Scorpio. Okay, this is beautiful, beautiful um transformation taking place and whatever you're going through right now by the end of it um there's going to be enlightenment there's going to be clarity you will also even achieve on some level some personal victory okay you i, I feel through your current situation um you're trying to align with yourself, okay? You're trying to connect to your soul and work out what's true and correct for you, okay? Even with the Seven of Pentacles, right? This is you doing the work on you. And even with the Temperance here, this is healing, Scorpio, I feel like you're going through a healing process right now. I feel like you're going through a healing journey. There could have been someone here that you're dealing with that is, you know, treating you like a yo-yo. It's like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that's how I'm seeing the moon and the sun. It's like this person's treating you like a yo-yo. Okay. Um, 
and you're trying to break away with the hermit card you're trying to break away from that energy you're sick and tired of it and i feel like even with the judgment card this was weighing heavy on your shoulders and you want to be released from this you want to release yourself from this Now, you're trying to understand the situation better. You're trying to come to terms with what is happening here. Okay. I feel with the Seven of Pentacles, um, you have something with someone here. I feel like maybe you've been with them for quite some time. Um something has established here between you and this person okay you have something quite established here with this person i feel like you have been patient with them okay you've even maybe at times reassured them but i feel like you're losing your patience okay you've had to break away to see this from a logical perspective because that's what the ace of swords is about it's like okay i need to not detach from your emotions because you're you're a water sign you are you know predominantly ruled by your emotions scorpio so your emotions have really maybe led you to a situation where you got treated like a yo-yo but now you're trying to sort of like detach from your emotions and be more logical about things okay emotions will make a situation messy <laughs> but when you're coming from a logical perspective okay now we can we can see reason here we we can understand what's really going on here and i feel even with the knight of pentacles here this is someone who is taking their time okay maybe this person that you're dealing with is moving very very slowly um maybe too slowly for your liking scorpio okay maybe you're like you know what i can't handle this i'm growing tired of this i'm losing my patience with this person um they could be heavily investing in work okay um i do feel with this knight of pentacles that on some level they have been showing up consistently in your life okay but this toing and froing like is throwing me off this temperance is up and down maybe this person is moody or erratic or maybe they're playing with your emotions maybe it's you that's up and down moody erratic unstable and you're trying to overcome this i do feel by the end of this week scorpio you will speak up with the judgment and the ace of swords you will speak up okay you've got to get something off of your chest and you will okay you will speak your truth now when you do this it might be no surprise that this person with the hermit card retreats into their shell don't take it personally don't take it personally you may have just hit a sore point okay you know speaking truth um predominantly if it's done with we can we can speak our truth right and 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 truth has a double edged a double edge to it okay and it's the truth but the truth can also hurt okay but the truth also sets us free and this person may not be able to handle your truth so they may retreat and like i said scorpio don't take it personally don't take it personally for the most part this person knows what's going on they know what they have done okay they may come back around with the seven of pentacles and um 
they may come back around with the seven of pentacles and want to rebuild and reconnect what you had but i feel for the most part some kind of healing needs to take place so let's get and let's get um some extra messages on your person and how they're showing up in this upcoming week Scorpio let's get a better read and a better understanding so what's happening with this person I feel like you know that your person is more in the background I feel like this is more about you okay beaver spirit I think we've got this for another sign okay Okay, so I'm seeing predominantly the number six is here and the six can speak to reciprocal energy, um, you know, give and take. Maybe, you know, this person, once you speak up about something here, Scorpio, it might encourage this person to step it up. Okay, and I feel like they possibly could step it up here. Okay, you've you're putting in your share of the bargain when it comes to relationships. I mean, we have to nurture our relationships, don't we? We've got to give it the right fertilizer for relationships to blossom and bloom. And you, you're watering this relationship, but it can't be coming from just one person. So you may be speaking up about what's lacking, okay, where this person is falling short. And I feel with the number six here, and even this beaver is coming forth with some kind of a offering here. So I feel like they will do their bit. Initially, when you speak up, I feel like they may retreat because maybe they might have a bit of an ego bruise, okay? They might feel, yeah, initially upset and hurt by your words or by you know, how you're feeling, but I do feel for the most part, this person will come forward and um, show you with their actions that they they do want this. It's just that this person is a little bit slow off the mark, okay? They're just taking their sweet time. You may feel, it says here, beaver spirit lay a solid foundation, but yet this beaver is resting on a twig. And that's not exactly a solid foundation. It's not bricks. It's not mortar here. So you could be questioning them on that. You know, you're like, you're up and down. Like, I can't be in a relationship where it feels unsafe you want security you want safety you want this person to make you feel safe you don't want this person to make you feel on edge and you might just be you know calling them out on their bs the fact that the beaver has come up um the beaver is a land and a water mammal i do believe so I do feel like this person does care about you, okay? I do. I, I, I'm picking that up here. It just could be that they're a little, you know, behind the eight ball when it comes to love and relationships. Like I said, they could be predominantly more focused on work and career at this time. But, you know, they're dropping the ball. They're dropping the ball, Scorpio, and you're keeping them accountable for that. So there we have it, guys. Um, that's all I've got for you this week. I hope you enjoyed this read. And until next time, take care. Bye for now.